was hungry, now when the game turned greedy Was known to be needy, now it's people that need me Dialing up the dead because I'm right away from my heart Cause lately I've been feeling like I'm free What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street and I'm finally bringing this California Golden Bears, I don't know, this California Swag Bears, Dynasty and NCAA 14 and I'm actually playing with the 2014 NCAA rosters. I, I saw it in a vid on um, Franchise City's channel and he just posted the video a couple of days ago, still stay, same month, still in April and all you have to do to download the uh, 2014 rosters is go go like you would to download the regular NCAA rosters, but enter in call me LSU as the gamer tag, and uh, his roster is the one that you should be downloading. So he, him and his team on Operation Sports did a nice job of making the new rosters. They got Speedy Noel on uh, Texas A&M. That's like the only one I know really. I don't really know any other high school players that's coming into uh, the college but might have to look that up in the future and that's how I got the new rosters but I'm not playing against Texas Texas A&M right now I'm playing against Northwestern you can see we're up early right here seven to zero and they're throwing a pick we're not even ranked they're ranked 16th in now we're going to be up by 14 after this touchdown and point after the touchdown so pretty good for a team that's not ranked right now hopefully we can get ranked Hopefully um, they go down after this game or something like that. Hopefully we get the win. But you can see I'm just messing up the computer right here. This is on Heisman. I didn't show it in this game, but I'll probably show it in the next one. But I'm playing on Heisman. And these first two quarters, like, it didn't seem like I was playing on Heisman that much. You can see the quarterback just not knowing what to do. He's taking a lot of time in the pocket. And if I would have stayed on that wide receiver, then I probably would have actually got him down um got the interception or got him down quicker than that and their run game is not working out they get a lot of loss yardage and they get lucky sometimes like this but they get unlucky as he breaks the tackle and he runs back to the line of scrimmage so i get the ball back on offense you know i'm gonna do the counter with male gigolo deuce brendan bigelow right there getting a seven yard rush but um, I'm gonna know if, if y'all wanted to see how I'm doing the recruiting process as well. I'll probably have the recruiting process in the beginning of the video. I, I see like um, they tell me uh, the parts, the parts of the team that I need, the positions that I most need them in, and it's basically like uh, the center, the guard is is um, guard is a little bit low. Everybody, every position on this California Swag Bear team is rated like a C plus or just a C minus or something like that. So I'm focusing on the low, the lower C minuses right now, and fullback is one of them. But I don't really think I need a fullback. I might go back to using the actual Swag Bear offensive playbook because this is the custom playbook I'm using, and I added some plays to it. You can tell by this when I added the monster formation. That O lineman gets two nice blocks on the outside and allows us to get the touchdown with Chris Harper. Jared Goff, I'm not sure if he's a mobile quarterback. But later in this game, you're going to see he does have a little bit of speed on him. As we go up 21-3 to on Heisman <laughs> in the second quarter, man. So now he's trying to kick up. They ended up throwing some curl out, and he breaks the tackle and gets a 20-yard game. So, you know, I'm just trying to put pressure on the quarterback. That's what I did to make him throw one of the interceptions that he threw in the first quarter. And it ended up being a pick six. So, unfortunately, we get an injury. You can see the type of crazy blitzes I'm throwing up, and that is what it, it just it just frustrates the quarterback it gets him confused like i drop linebackers back no nah, i drop d lineman back and i bring the linebackers on the blitz so it's basically like i'm not losing any coverage and he just gets confused he threw that one right to the safety 
But you know, I'm coming back out on offense. Just got my 10th first down of the game. Unfortunately, I couldn't do anything on this drive with this punt though. Right between the two and the three yard line. I'm, I gotta start punting more often, but you can see right here, we coming out second and 11. They running back, just run me right over. But luckily, my man McClure, he chases them down. They running back must be type slow. But I got ran over at the line of scrimmage. They get like a big 60-yard gain. And now they're trying to move the ball. I leave him open in the middle. Well, it was actually man coverage. So the cornerback got lost on that one. And that quarterback is trying to play better right now. They're doing some read option, and that's not working for him. You know, we're stopping that easily. I might start bringing this pressure again with the middle linebackers, but it doesn't work out because the D tackle... He's not as fast. Like, I can't really use it with him that much. I can only use the middle linebackers because they got a little bit of decent speed. But we go to man coverage again. And, of course, the corner route beats it this time. So they do get another a touch, another score in the game. So it's 10 to 21. I didn't do anything with the ball on, the, on my next possession. So I skip right over that. And we get a sack on second down on Northwestern. You see me crawling on the floor. We be wilding in this game. I'm, I gotta start sending more pressure that actually gets to the quarterback. Maybe start blitzing like six people, seven people, eight people, you know. Something that gets there. Because you can't just have the quarterback just in the pocket just throwing the ball. You can see we try to just play man coverage in the corner route. It just gets the... It just always works. Like sometimes I just wonder when is this not going to work. Like it always works on the best corner in the game. Best anything. So let me get the ball back. And they really did just come back in this game. It was 21 to 3 in the first half. And look at this golf. Jared Golf taking off downfield, getting caught by the safety. But uh, it was a nice play right there. I do like the midline QB option. And it's a real nice play when you actually read it right. And I've been practicing reading it right for a while. So I can really get some big yardage on this play. And you can see I do it again. The blocking is just nice. Like, <laughs> blocking is nice, man. Another 15 yard rush by Jared Golf. But, um, you know, it's, I do really like playing NCAA. It's, it's something different. Something that I didn't get to do for a while. Try to get in the end zone with golf, but he gets smacked at, like, the half-yard line. So, we just give it to the running back right there on the motion, dive, and we get into the end zone. So, it's 20. It's going to be 28 to 17. I really can't believe they came back on me. This is on Heisman, so they, they are able to come back. So they didn't do anything on the uh, next possession after I scored, so I skipped over that. Coming now, I'm back on offense in the third quarter. I'm trying to get another score so the game could basically be over, but you see I get this glitch catch right here with Chris Harper. I don't know. I was just trying to make sure the safety didn't pick it off, and I ended up catching it myself. And we do the counterplay again. Male Gigolo, Deuce, Brendan Bigelow with the speed on the field. Nobody's catching him right now. He gets another touchdown in the game, a 54-yard run. They get back, the, they get the ball back, and now they're trying to run the ball. They break in the tackles. I'm trying to dive right now. I didn't want to try to hit stick him no more, because that's how I got ran over on that like three-yard line. He got 60 yards, so I'm just trying to dive right now. But that's not the running back, so I get a hit stick right there and almost knock this helmet off. And now we come back. I'm playing as the D lineman, knocking him over on fourth and seven. I'm forcing the bad pass. Man, that quarterback was not having a good game this game. Even though he does have two touchdowns, he has two interceptions. And we're going to pass it to Bryce Trey just to get the first down on the next offensive possession. We're still trying to score here, though. Man, I don't like these, these uh, Northwestern dudes. Man. I'm trying to score on them. Ends up being fourth and inches. You know I'm going to convert that. And we go over here with the jet sweep out of that heavy shotgun formation. Bryce Treggs. I tried to get a little move on the safety, but that didn't work out. It was alright, though. Fourth and goal. I was six yards away. I was thinking, should I pass it? Or should I just run it up the, run it up the middle with Bigelow? And, of course, I run up the middle with, middle with Bigelow. And we get the touchdown. Man, that's type hard to say. The middle with Bigelow. Twice. Say that jump twice. He's going to be real hard. So, um, 42 to 17, we squash they comeback dreams, and um, they starting to move the ball a little bit again. We try to play this soft zone and this man coverage, but that's all you really got to do. You just got to blitz the quarterback and get them like, get them like not in a rhythm. Like you got to get them under pressure so they they nervous in the game. But um, I could have had a pick right there. I didn't press Y. Like the ball was thrown right over my head, but they running back starting to run all over us again for first downs. 
he went wildin' after that 60-yard run he had. And I'm guarding the middle. He throws it to the corner route. I only need one foot in college. And I try to jump up the middle. And look at this, man. He throws another touchdown just to, just to boost up their score. But that didn't really matter, man. We still won the game. Beating the top 25 team with the Cali Swag Bears. Brendan Bigelow is the player of the game. Had 100 yards rushing. But um, it's been nice, though. But this video is coming to an end leave a like if you enjoyed it but always remember in the street we trust i'm out